Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for update 92 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, as I mentioned last week, a majority of the updates that I do over the next month or so are going to be firearm centric. And the reason for that is I'm working on some stuff on the sort of back end that I can't show you yet. Um, and so this week is pretty much all about toys. And that was me accidentally jumping in arm swinger mode. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. So two of our models this week are actually weapon replacements. They are replacing a model that's either old or I didn't quite like it or it wasn't correct in the first place. So the first one of these is the Mark 18 Mod Zero, which the in-game model is, that's not what a Mark 18 looks like. That's much more sort of like an M16 with custom furniture on it. So thanks to a, a community user, uh, Ole, I hope I pronounced your name correctly there. Check out this gorgeous Mark 18 Mod Zero here. Oh, it's just so clean. It is ridiculous. So you got our compact quad rail four stock, beautiful, clean looking Stanag for it. And courtesy of him as well, we have got some sweet attachments for it as well. A matching suppressor, which just looks awesome. Got a foregrip for it. Oh, that rail is still misbehaving. Somebody's getting fixed in the next hour, as well as a gorgeous, new set of iron sights to go with it and uh, as a separate thing i know this <laughs> took me so long to put one of these in because i think they look so goofy we finally have a uh a pq 15 just the laser functionality on it because uh there's no infrared in h3 and there's never gonna be so cool so let's try this sucker out Wonderful. Think I'm shooting a little low. Let's take the suppressor back off. Pop on our laser there. Ah, ah wonderful. Boop. It's more tactical when you shoot it at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> ah, wonderful. And to go with this actually uses a bit of uh, shared texture resources for a couple parts. We have a what has been long requested, an M16A4. Just look at that. Good deal longer. And the rear iron of this pair, there in the item spawner, is the Knight Iron Sights, is properly calibrated to go with that four. Boop, boop, boop. Wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at you. Aren't you pretty? So there you have it. That is our Mark 18 and our M16 A4. Another model that really needed replacement. I know a bunch of you complained about it because it just looked horrible in really ambient heavy lighting uh, situations was our was our G17, and so I uh, I found a much prettier model for it. Look at you, looking just absolutely gorgeous. And what's special? This is one of those rare moments where someone actually modeled not just the witness holes on the back of the magazine, which no one ever does, but they actually did it accurately enough. Uh, which also rarely happens for me to actually be able to stack the entire mag's worth of rounds in there so that you can see it in action. So if we go like that, pop five out. I think that was actually, that was more than five. I was not counting. Just got carried away firing it. <laughs> what even was that laugh? So there you have the... The G17 
remade, much prettier, and to go with it, uh, after I finally ran into a model I liked for it, I finally got for you a, a more modern G18. This is the, the G18C. We've got that ported barrel on the top. Cool finish on the slide. Let's pop that into full auto. Let's try not to shoot the ceiling. I'm pretty sure we sent a few into the ceiling there. We can probably control this a little bit better if we get ourselves a stock. You'll notice there's a whole bunch of extra <laughs> muzzle fire coming up the top. I, uh, I actually got to fire one of these at Battlefield Vegas. It's probably mo one of the most fun things I fired because it's just, it, it, it kind of feels like it's just going to explode in your hand. And yes, it too had just fire just shooting out the top of it. But obviously that's a pretty fast ride. So finally to go with it, here's your your 50 round drum compatible with the G17, 18, and 19. Ah, wonderful. So there you have that wonderful new toy. And then lastly, because I told you folks two weeks ago that this was going to be a shotgun month, I've got one more new shotgun for you. Don't worry, there'll be more before the month's out. And that is the MCS 870. A modern, gorgeous looking tactical 870. It's got these sweet, small, sort of front side rails uh, that I absolutely love. And a great pair of integrated sights. Wonderful, absolutely beautiful piece here. And then lastly, a number of you have been asking if you could go ahead and play around with some of the systems I was showing off last week. Well, I've got two of these. They're in a special place in the options panel, preview work in progress feature options. They are turned off by default and they are hit decals and bullet hit sounds. Note, these are not done yet. They're not optimized. They're not consistently implemented. Don't report bugs with them. I don't want to hear it. I will let you know when they're no longer in this panel, they will officially be uh, in full-blown testing. Uh, but if you want to hit, see the difference between those things without and with. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, don't ever do that in real life. <laughs> Pew, pew. So there you have it. Uh, that is what we've got for this week. Let's jump out of VR and talk about uh, what's coming up next. Yo, hope you all are excited to play with all of that. Other stuff this week, I fixed uh, a couple bugs and oversights with the rolling block uh, weapons. There wasn't a hammer hit sound when you uh, drop the hammer when it was empty, so that's been fixed. I also added a mount for the W330 scope to the side of them. The one, basically, if you pull up the, the Model 8 page, it'll also have that scope there. In terms of fixes, I fixed the compound pistol breaking when you uh, hit the delete all uh, magazines button on the wrist menu. I fixed the P612 so that you actually need to use a P612 cylinder instead of just any speed loader to, to reload it. Whoops. Um, fix the, uh, I'm so sorry about the, the, the Meat Fortress soldier grenade had a one second fuse. Whoops. So that's been fixed. Um, fixed a couple broken item spotter images and, uh, and then the big one, the sort of two big things I worked on uh, in addition this week, uh, from an optimization and fixing standpoint, is that there were a number of moving pieces on firearms that the transformation update for them was firing every single frame, whether or not they were moving. Um, things like flip-up sights. And this actually adds cost because of the invoked transform, refresh, a bunch of callbacks fire in the engine. And I noticed this when I was in the new desert scene that I'm working on. 
and ran into some terrifying performance issues where I had the, the Mark 18 specked out with too many attachments. I was running around the house and getting, it was chugging for me. And I was like, this is not good. This scene is not, does not have enough things in it for it to be running this poorly. And through a bunch of iterative testing, not only found that issue with the moving pieces, but realized that mesh colliders in PhysX, at least in the version I'm using, my creaky old version of Unity, are even worse than I thought they were. Um, and related basically to their bounding volumes and complexity. So I was able to peel like over a millisecond of CPU cost off in that scene just by restructuring the collision in it. Um, and it both reinforced some stuff that I had already learned in the process of making that scene and actually gave me a bunch of sort of mental heuristics for stuff I'm going to do in future scenes and stuff I'm not going to do because of the sort of explosive physics cost that can occur just because the firearms, uh, you know, especially with a bunch of attachments, are just so ridiculously complex physics-wise. So, yeah. So, in terms of sort of what's coming up, as, I, as I've said before, this month and probably a week or two of August is almost entirely about firearms. It's because of the fact that I'm working on some stuff I can't show you folks yet, and I'm just, I have a sort of a backlog of content that I have prepared for this occasion, so I can keep giving you folks fun, cool, new things to try. I, every, every week I get some sort of comment from someone who's like, you know, the guns are cool, but could we have some other content here? I'm working on it. It's just that stuff takes more than a week. Whereas a lot of the firearms, I sort of implement them in batches and then save them for moments like this where I need to get really boring work that I can't really show in progress to you folks. Um, and so that's what, for, for the next couple weeks, that's what you should largely expect is, uh, is more new firearms and, you know, tweaking of some of these sort of new feature systems like the hit decals and the hit sounds and things like that while I work on the next big thing, which I am positive you all are going to like. So, it's not multiplayer though. I just want to nip that as like 15 comments a week. It's like, no, trust me, I have a whole devlog about it. It's not multiplayer. It's not a joke. I'm not being coy. It's never going to be part of the game. Stop asking. So, anywho, disclaimer over. I hope you all have a, a wonderful and enjoyable weekend playing with the, uh, the new Mark 18 and the other toys. And I will see you all soon. Peace.